Well guys, it's one of those days where I have nothing to make a video about, so let's make a video about something. So this is the Zen browser. I have no idea what it is. I don't even know anything about it. We're just going to try it today because, well, it popped up and it looks kind of interesting. And for some reason, GNOME software needs to load twice. We're going to go to... Does this thing have a GitHub? Uh, it does, but it's just for issues, I guess. Let's move this over here. And there's that issue again and fixed. All right. Beautiful design, focused, yada, yada, yada. Your browser, your way, theme store, good. Unique style, great, always up to date. It's built from Firefox. Of course it's built from Firefox. Hiya. All right, fine. Let's open this up. Fancy. Oh, oh, we get to choose our preferred color. Done. And import your data. All right, well, it falls short there, don't it? Uh, choose a search engine. Great. Can we, like, is there sync? Can we sync things? Go to settings. Import settings. There's no Firefox sync, is there? It, ah, there's sync. Yes. So we're able to sync all of our crap. Good. I'm not testing that today. And inf it automatically comes with vertical tabs. Great. See, that's what people like. And browser. What does this do? Search tabs. So this just does that. Okay. And that's the favorites. Let's go through the settings. The look and feel. Default theme. Colorful dark theme. I like that. That's nice. Colorful dark theme is always welcome. We're going to choose dark theme. Uh, pilled buttons. It's just rounded buttons. There's no difference. Enable Zen Browser's compact mode. So what? Do we just need a... How does this... Oh. Oh. It acts like a dock now. <clears throat> I like that. That's actually kind of cool. And uh, enable web side panels. Huh? Okay. Okay. It's got workspaces, keyboard shortcuts are probably all the same. Zen mods. What is a Zen mod? Now playing indicator? I don't see the difference. Super URR bar. Well, that, that, that generally looks just better than the current one. Uh, disable rounded corners. I don't know what the hell that is. Audio tab icon plus. Exit button right padding. I don't see the difference. Drop shadow. Okay. Great. We got drop shadow now. Uh, uniform workspaces. No thank you. Better letterboxing. There's a lot of weird stuff in here. Look at it. Look at it all. Wow. So bookmark toolbar tweaks. That's always good. Cleaner extension menu. Uh, allow toolbar theming. Only top bar is compact. There's just so much stuff. The floating toolbar. From edge of window. So it appears like it's floating. Oh. Okay. That's cool. That's actually really nice. Look at all this. There's just so much stuff. The midnight theme looks so nice. It's now mine. Yeah. Uh, super pin seems nice. Minimal sidebar. Formula One. Embrace the simplicity of black and red. And they got secret theme. We're not. We're not. No. We're not doing that. That, that doesn't seem nice. There's utilities and there's color schemes. So we were in utilities. We went over everything. Eric's Zen UI tweak box. You know what? Let's see how fast this connects to YouTube. Because honestly, that's the biggest one. That's not that fast. That's as fast as normal Firefox. Hmm. Let me use it for a bit. I'll come back near the end of the video. I'll explain whether I like it or not. I'll get it set up with sync and try to get everything going with it and if i do end up liking it i'll let you know if i don't like it i'm going to be brutally honest as always and well you can throw a fit about me being honest in the comments if you want but i'd rather 
be honest than not honest at all. Okay, well, it's been quite a while since I started recording. To truly bring this through, I've got all my stuff synced in and messed around with the settings a bit. As you can see, I am actually synced in right here. Ah, uh, it's nice. It's a nice little browser. It is adorable. And mm, it just feels like Firefox. There's nothing special about it. It uses the same amount of RAM as Firefox. It just has a different layout and look and so on and so forth. I don't really see anything different or noticed anything different in terms of privacy and everything else. It's the same. And honestly, if you're a Firefox user, that's great for you. If you're not, then, well, you're not. But here's, here, you know, here's the permissions page, okay? I don't have actual Firefox installed unless I do, or maybe that was on Nabora. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of stuff against everything and you can even do custom and all the privacy settings and speakers and stuff like that. It's all here. Same stuff that's in Edge and every other browser except for Chrome. You know, I, I like the fact that it's got mods and stuff. That's pretty nice. It's it's interesting. I like the look of it. And honestly, I wish more browsers would let you do this, where they let you take customization to this level. I mean, I love this look. This look is amazing. Tell me your guys' thoughts. If you've used this before, what's your favorite thing? I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, do all the cool stuff, help me out with this whole YouTube algorithm, you know, that, uh, bye everybody.